Hello everyone, Lucas Eddy here with Climb. Today we're going to be looking at the fully newly redesigned Mojave series. This is the glove, the in the boot pant, the over the boot pant, and the jersey. There's a bunch to go through here, so we're just going to start with the gloves. First things first, we took the Mojave glove, which is a really solid general off-road riding glove, like for trail riding, desert racing, whatever you want to do, and we refined it and made it more comfortable and better in the hot weather. So, first things first, I'll put this on so you can see. We've got a really simplified palm construction here. It's just got a couple seams in there, plus some rubber grip pads, and then your phone screen uh, fingertips right there. So this is really nice, easy to grip on the bars, low bulk, perforated, got some airflow, and it's leather as well, like I mentioned. On the backhand here, we've got some new constructions and some new materials. This is actually the backhand from the XC Light glove. So it's nice, it's light, it's stretchy, and then we've got mesh here to give more airflow around the rest of the glove and this new knuckle protector, which you can see. We've got more protection than before while still maintaining a bunch of airflow through these holes here. And then you're nice, if you can see, this is how it would be, this is how it would be on the bars, you know, for tree whip and roots and that kind of stuff, you've got some nice protection as well. And then over here on the thumb side, I really like this feature a lot. Those of you who have to wear or use grip donuts and you're always getting big blisters here, this is like a lightly foam backed leather pad right here. So it's really nice and comfortable against the bars there. If I wear other gloves, I sometimes get blisters on the backs of my thumbs with these gloves, no problem. Four days racing at Sea to Sky in Turkey last year, wore these gloves four days straight, zero problems, no blisters. It was really, really nice actually. And then the last thing, speaking of comfort, in between the fingers here, the finger four shets, that's that's called this white material. That's also from the XC Light glove, so it's really nice, light, breathable, spandex, lycra type of material in there. So it's flexible, breathes well, good in the hot weather. So overall, super comprehensive upgrade on the Mojave regular gloves. We do have the Mojave Pro glove um, that's got way more protection features built into it. But for trail riding, this is my go-to glove. Moving to the pants. Also comprehensive upgrades on the pants here. The biggest deal, before I get into anything else, this is all the same mesh here in the main chassis of the pant as what's in our street induction pro and induction series of street gear uh, on the street motorcycle side. So this is literally street ready, super abrasion resistant mesh here. Breathable, it's pliable, it's a total upgrade across the board from what the mesh used to be. So I'm a big fan of that. And of course we have our stretch panels here above the knee and the crotch and the hips uh, and the back back area here as well. And if you can see here, all across the back of the leg, the back of the thigh, all the way down into the boot. So talking about in the boot versus over the boot, the key difference there is these are the in the boot pants. These have a standard thigh pocket on both sides with the zipper. The over the boot pants have a billowed cargo pocket. So you can get more stuff in the pockets on the over the boot pants. And then same thing with the in the boot pants versus the over the boot pants. In the boot pants don't have a built-in pad pocket in the knee and the hip. Over the boot pants, you can buy those, you can buy pads and actually put them in those as well. Otherwise, they're basically the same concept. Moving forward, same as the previous pants, you guys are used to this, super durable 840D knees and seat. We've got leather inside the knee, the mesh liner inside stops just below the knee so it doesn't add extra bulk inside your boot. And that is the main story here on the Mojave in the boot and over the boot pants. That big fabric upgrade here, that's key. That's no additional bulk, better protection, better abrasion protection, great breathability, all that stuff. Same as what we like before on the Mojave pants. Super solid upgrade there. Last thing is the Mojave jersey. As you guys know, this is super hot weather focused. You can probably see light going through this. It's huge, huge open mesh here on the whole chassis. If you can see underneath the arms here, the bottom half of the arm is also that super open mesh. And then the sleeves are that super durable material. It's now the same material that's found in the Dakar jersey as well. So it's got a little bit of stretch to it. It's nice and comfortable. Really, really good protection against trees and branches and that kind of stuff. And then the other thing we changed is just the construction on the sleeves here. You know, we adjusted uh, the seams a little bit, make it a little bit more comfortable. We adjusted the patterning on this sleeve area down here to make it more, uh, to give it more airflow down here in the sleeve while still giving you that protection on the outside against trees and branches and that kind of stuff, like I mentioned. So what you'll see throughout this whole lineup of newly redesigned Mojave gear is a bunch of light colors like tans and whites and grays and that kind of stuff because they're gonna be less hot in the sun than blacks and dark grays and lots of reds and that kind of stuff. So we're really focusing on that hot weather comfort sitting in the sun. You're not gonna feel as much heat just from the sun itself going through this gear. So we're really focusing on hot weather with this. So that about sums it up for the newly redesigned Mojave gloves, pants, in the boot pants and jerseys. 
If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments below. If you guys wanna see a comparison between all the climb off-road gear, check out that video as well. That's about it for this. Don't forget to subscribe and find us on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Give us a like, make sure to subscribe, all that fun stuff. That's all for now, thanks for watching. <laughs>